So I think it was an interesting quarter. I mean, you, you really saw an inflection in the Oracle OCI business. So this is their cloud infrastructure business, very similar to Microsoft Azure. Uh, that growth rate on that cloud business is accelerated by over 20 points versus last quarter. Keep in mind, a lot of cloud businesses we're seeing are still continuing to slow. So this was a huge change relative to what we saw last quarter. I think what, what also was interesting, if you, if you read the press release, they talked about over $2 billion of con contractual commitments from Gen AI, Gen AI companies. That includes Cohere, it includes a number uh, of other leading edge companies. So a lot of momentum in their cloud infrastructure business. They have the partnership with NVIDIA. Uh, we do think they are monetizing it uh, in, in their cloud today. Uh, ultimately, this is just going to be a question of what are they getting uh, on the margin side, right? This is a, this is a business that's been extremely profitable. Um, however, their cloud business has gross margins much lower uh, than than the overall company. So you kind of have this mixed shift. Uh, top lines going up, but but margins are are coming down a bit as a result of their success in cloud. Tyler, now you you basically mentioned that their own you know uh, cloud business is in a sense comparable to Azure. But just for the the people watching. How, how would you quantify that in terms of where Oracle is right now and where you know the, the likes of an Azure or even an AWS is? Because from everything you, you look at, it does suggest that they're far behind. So the, the question I would ask you is, can they make enough inc incremental progress in growing their market share or eventually they're just going to get squeezed out? Yeah, so, so to be clear, Oracle has single digit market share in the cloud market today. If you, if you look at infrastructure as a service, right, you have AWS, Amazon Web Services is, is the leader followed by uh, uh, Azure from, from Microsoft and then you have Google and then Oracle is, is there uh, you know, in fourth or fifth depending on, on how you measure it. Now, now Oracle's business, again, the growth rate has been very impressive. We're, we're talking over 70% growth on their infrastructure business this, this past quarter. So uh, you know, by definition, they are, they are gaining share. I, I don't think anyone would, would argue that they're going to overtake Amazon or overtake uh, Microsoft Azure, but uh, it's a huge market. Uh, and, and certainly if they can maintain uh, above market growth, there, there's a lot of room for them to gain share, particularly as they start to benefit from some of these new AI workloads where, where they saw some really nice commitment growth uh, from some AI customers this quarter.